Hello, beekeepers, and thank you for joining Woods Bee Co. for another session of Thinking Out of the Box. I'm Alan Woods, and today we're going to look at the life cycle of the queen. Before we start, let me tell you a few interesting facts about the queen. There is only one queen in any colony. She has a life expectancy of three to four years. And like a worker bee, the queen starts off as a single fertilized egg. However, unlike the worker bee and the drones, the queen is fed only royal jelly until her cell is closed. The queen will only mate once in her lifetime with up to 15 drones. She can lay up to 2,000 eggs a day and chooses the sex of the bees in the hive. If she fertilizes an egg, it becomes a female. If she does not, it becomes a male. But the most fascinating thing about the queen is that she uses her pheromone to manage the hive. Like the worker bee, the queen also starts her life as a single fertilized egg. While the eggs in this picture look like tiny grains of rice, they can be somewhat difficult to see with the naked eye. The egg hatches into the larva stage on day three, spending the next 13 days developing into a queen in the cell where she was laid. Because the queen is only fed royal jelly, she will grow larger than both the worker bee and the drone. She is fed royal jelly from day three until the queen cell is closed. As a larvae, she receives 1,600 feedings of royal jelly and about 17 hours of care from the nurse bees. On day seven, the larva matures into the pupa stage where she will continue her development into a queen. On day eight, the bees will close the queen cell where she will emerge in eight days. Queen cells look like the end of a small peanut and there are often more than one. On day 16, she hatches, emerging from the cell, starting her life as a new queen. At this point, the queen cannot fly until her chitin hardens in four days, after which she will make one to two maiden flights where she will mate with up to 15 drones. During her maiden flight, the queen will gather enough sperm to fertilize her eggs for a few years. The queen will either swarm, leaving the hive, run out of sperm and be superseded or die at the hand of a beekeeper or something else. In any case, the queen will need to be replaced, starting this cycle all over again. Thank you for watching our videos. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more beekeeping videos.